fourth lecture of standard 10 science. So in the last lecture we had started the homologous series. We had discussed about the homologous series. After that, functional groups like a carboxylic acid and ethanol, alcoholic uh, functional group, then ester functional group, then ketone. That we had already discussed in the last lectures. Now, here we are going to learn about the physical properties of carbonic compound. Physical properties of carbonic compound that we had already discussed. Now, here we are going to learn chemical properties of carbonic compound. So, in this type of chemical properties, there are generally four types of properties. First is combustion. So, combustion is related to the emission of carbonic compound. Carbonic compound ko agar hum ignite kare. So, usse kya generate hota hai that we, had, that we will discuss in this particular topic. So, first of chemical properties is defined by the combustion process. Combustion process se sab ahaan pe start karein. Now, the second property that is oxidation reaction. When the oxygen is added to any carbonic compound, so what happens? How it is added to any carbonic compound? How oxygen is added to the any carbonic compound? What type of reactants required? What type of catalyst requires? That we will discuss in this particular topic and it is oxidation of carbonic compound. Then after we will move in the addition reaction on the topic of addition reaction. So what will add or what we will add to any carbonic compound and for addition of any another compound to the carbonic compound how it happens that we will discuss here in the addition reaction. So let's start one by one to know more about these types of properties. So first property is and it is combustion property. Combustion of any carbonic compound. This is our first property. Combustion means the ignition of any carbonic compound in presence of oxygen. So we know that any carbonic compound or another, car, another car compounds that burns in the presence of oxygen. Without oxygen, burning process is not possible. That's why in the combustion, combustion is generally considered as a burning or ignition of any carbonic compound in the presence of oxygen. So this is the meaning of combustion. Inside the engine of any vehicle, it will be either a petrol vehicle or diesel vehicle, inside the engine of any vehicle, combustion reaction occurs. Combustion process occurs and what happens in that process that we will learn by the, these three given chemical reactions that we will try to understand by these given three chemical reactions. So what will happen inside the engine of any vehicle? So there combustion reaction occurs. We know that. And what produced when carbon and its compounds burns? Any carbonic compound in that we can include petrol, diesel, kerosene, naphtha and coal. All the carbonic compound wood is also considered. So what happens when any carbonic compound or any Another carbon compound burns in the presence of oxygen. So what happens in the case of combustion? Let's try to understand. So here first example is carbon is burns in the presence of oxygen. So we can say this is the reaction of burning of coal. 
or mean of coal. We can say this is because this is pure carbon. Carbon is ignited in the presence of oxygen. So what happens? What produce? Let's see. So in the presence of uh, the pure carbon, when burns, we know that. Best example, if I tell you, so if you take coal, let's say coal is burned. So this is the reaction of that. So coal burns in the presence of oxygen and produces carbon dioxide gas. We know that when coal burns, most of smoke is generated there. So this smoke is carbon dioxide. So carbon burns in the presence of oxygen and produces carbon dioxide gas and generates the heat, high amount of heat. We know that. Coal jab burn hota hai, so maa pe smoke produce hota hai. This is carbon dioxide. And uske baad heat is generated for the air. So this is the first reaction. This is the burning of coal, we can say. Now the second reaction and this is our CH4. This is methane. So CH4 is methane. When methane burns in the presence of oxygen, what happens? Let's see. So methane is our natural gas that is obtained by naturally and we are using it. This is the main component of CNG. Compressed natural gas. This is the main component. And we are using it inside our, uh, in, uh, in our vehicles. So what happens when it burns? So when methane burns, in the presence of oxygen, when methane burns in the presence of oxygen, what produce? So the carbon, जितने carbon यहाँ पे होंगे वो oxygen, double oxygen लेकर carbon dioxide में convert हो जाएं। So here carbon directly reacted with one or two and forms CO2. So carbon dioxide gas is generated over there. Another, what remains? This four hydrogen. Four hydrogen means two H2, two 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 are four. And here, two oxygen remains. Two is already used there. Two is already used here. Two remains as it is. So it will combine with hydrogen and forms two H2. So this is water molecules is generated and plus. Heat is liberated over there. So this is the burning process of methane, or you can say burning process of CNG. Burning process of CNG. So CNG then CNG burns. It generates carbon dioxide plus water. That's why we can say it is biofuel. It is biologically good for environment. Methane gas or CNG gas because it is generating over here water molecules. That's why. Last example is the burning process of ethanol. What happens when alcohol burns? Alcohol अगर लेकर आप उस उसको अगर burn करो, so produce क्या होता है? So this is your alcohol ethanol and ethanol has formula C2H5OH. And when it burns in the presence of oxygen. So this is your C2H5OH. Total carbons gets converted into CO2. So two carbons are there. So two carbons directly reacts with oxygen and forms a CO2. And five and six hydrogen remains as it is. And here one oxygen over here and three or two oxygen is over here. So two and one, three that we will not die down with the balanced chemical reaction or as a stoichiometric coefficient 1.5 this is not valid in the chemistry that's why I am doing here I am taking 7 or 2 and this is double now so how many carbons are there? 2, 2, 2, 2, 4 so 4 CO2 so here we have 4 carbon as it is how many oxygen are there? 2 and 7 to the 40, so means total 16, 4 to, 4 to the 8, 
8 and here 6 oxygen so total 14, 7 is a 14 and we are directly here to combine home and after that hydrogen which, uh, which is combined with the water molecules and generates 6H2 so when ethanol burns in the presence of oxygen when ethanol burns in the presence of oxygen so what happens here we will have and we will take 6O2 and 6 to the 4 to the 8 8 and 6 14 so 7 to the 14 and 2 in necessity so here I am making 6 important that's why it will be balanced so this is when ethanol burns in the presence of oxygen it generates carbon dioxide gas water molecules plus heat now more about this uh, combustion process so saturated hydrocarbons burns and gives a green flame while unsaturated burns and gives yellow black match unsaturated hydrocarbons means ethene, propene, butene it generates lots of food. that uh, for example uh, one of the best example of our uh, day to day life and it is LPG gas cylinder in the LPG gas cylinder liquefied petroleum gas is burns so in that butane is filled so when incomplete combustion takes place means when the lack of oxygen occurs so burning process of any fuel will be incomplete that's why it generates lots of smoke and that's why the utensils which we are using to prepare the food the utensils bottoms becomes blackish color so bottoms so utensils jo bhi aap bartan use karte ho so uske jab uska jo bottom hai wo black color mein convert ho jata hai that's why kyun hota hai because incomplete burning of any fuel so this is the more about the combustion saturated hydrocarbons burns and gives green flame means it does not generate any type of smoke while the unsaturated hydrocarbons burns and gives yellow black mess that's why utensils bottoms become less blackish now the second chemical property is and it is oxidation oxidation means addition of oxygen into carbonic compound so addition of oxygen, removal of hydrogen that is considered as an oxidation reaction and this is done by the oxidizing agents like NaNO4, Na2Cr2O7 and K2Cr2O7 in the presence of these three reactants or we can say these three catalysts presence is necessary and these are the oxidizing agents in the presence of these oxidizing agents oxidation reaction occurs so KMNO4 it is known as a potassium permanganate Na2Cr2O7 this is the dichromate of sodium and potassium so this is your sodium dichromate this is your potassium dichromate so when in the presence of these three oxidizing agents oxygen is added for example here reaction is given this is our ethanol alcohol CH3CH2OH this is our ethanol now in the presence of alkaline KMnO4 or acidified Na2Cr2O7 and Na2Cr2O7 in the presence of these, uh, these two given oxidizing agents it gets converted into CH3COOH this is our ethanoic acid or acetic acid so what will happen looks here here generally already one oxygen is available just only one oxygen now after the completion of reaction two oxygen here obtain so oxygen you know that oxygen is added over here and this is done by the these oxidizing agents 
Na2Cr2O7, K2Cr2O7 and KMnO4. So this is your oxidation needs. Addition of oxygen to any carbonic compound. And third chemical properties is addition reaction. Third chemical property is addition reaction. So here we are added oxygen. Now we can add any more, any further any compound to the carbonic compound. We can add or not. So this will study in this particular chemical property and it is addition reaction. Addition means something that is added to the carbonic compound. Carbonic compound mein kuch add karna. This is known as an addition reaction. And this is done in the presence of catalyst. It requires catalyst. These are also catalyst. So in the presence of catalyst, addition reaction is occurs. Addition reaction is carried out. Why? What happens in the addition reaction? So this is our double bond compound. Look here. This is our double bond compound. This means this is unsaturated. That I already told you. Double bond and triple bond compounds are unsaturated in nature. So this is our double bond carbonic compound. So this is unsaturated. And I want to add hydrogen gas to this compound. So here presence of nickel metal, platinum metal and palladium metal is necessary. In the presence of these three catalysts. So what is catalyst first of all? So catalyst are the substances who is not taking part in any reaction. But presence is necessary. कैटालिस्ट वो सब्सटेंस हैं जो रिएक्शन में पार्ट नहीं लेते, वो यूज नहीं होते, बट उनकी प्रेजेंस नेसेसरी है टू अकर दी रिएक्शन। सो आई वांट टू ऐड हाइड्रोजन गैस टू दिस सेंसेंट्रेटेड कार्बनिक कंपाउंड, सो दिस प्रेजेंस ऑफ निकल, पैलेटियम, प्लेटिनम एंड पैलेडियम इज नेसेसरी, सो ये डबल बोर्ड now hydrogen is added here this side and another is this side so a double bond breaks means single bond remains as it is and this will become saturated double bond to single bond this is this become saturated and animal fat is not good for health that we know animal fat is a saturated hydrocarbon so when we burn when we heat it it does not react with any type of another reactants. So that's why animal fat is not good for health. While the vegetable oil, vegetable food, vegetable beef is good for health. That's why we are not using animal fat in the preparation of food. Now we will discuss the third, sorry, fourth chemical properties and it is substitution. Let's try to understand in it in detail. The fourth chemical property is substitution reaction. So what is the meaning of substitution? Substitution means to displace any compound from the original compound or from to displace any atom to the original atom. This is substitution. This is the meaning of substitute. Substitute means किसी को निकाल कर उसकी जगह ले लेना। Substitution means eliminate the atom to eliminate any atom from the original atom. For example, I am taking example of methane. So this is our methane, and I want to add chlorine here, and this is our chlorination process. So what happens when in the presence of chlorine reaction occurs? So from methane CH4, this hydrogen is displaced by this chlorine atoms, chlorine chlorine group, and so that's why ClCl and chlorine is added. It is substituted the hydrogen element from the methane. And hydrogen 
gets reacted with chlorine and forms HCl. So hydrogen is substituted from here. Chlorine is attached there. So this is CH3 Cl is formed. If I do further chlorination, so this hydrogen becomes or sorry, this hydrogen is substituted over there. So what happens? This hydrogen reacts with this chlorine is added over here and hydrogen is combined with this chlorine and forms HCl. Chlorine Mahapya attached over here. If we do further chlorination, so this hydrogen is substituted and here chlorine is attached. So here I will obtain CHCl3. This is our CHCl3 and this is chloroform that we know what is chloroform. So this is our chloroform CHCl3 by the generation of HCl. And if we do further substitution reaction, so these hydrogen elements get substituted and four hydrogen atoms are substituted by the chlorine atoms, so this will become CCl4. And CCl4 is known as a carbon tetrachloride by the generation of HCl, with the generation of HCl. So this is the substitution is. Substitution means to substitute any element from the original element or from the any original compound. This is our substitution reaction. Now we have work for you that you have to write down in your workbook. Question number one is write down the chemical properties of carbonic compound in detail. So that you have to write four carbonic compounds in detail. Four chemical properties of carbonic compound. Question number two, what are the catalysts that you have to write down, that you have to describe? What are the catalysts and write down the two examples of it? Two examples of it. Question number three, what are the oxidizing agents? that you have to mention this is oxidizing agent and question number 4 why the bottoms of utensils become blackish so that these 4 questions you have to write in your workbook in the upcoming lecture so this is over to you in the upcoming lecture when we meet again then when we will meet again we will discuss another important topic so thank you